Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Tuesday, March 29th, 2022 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is, I take action in accordance to my highest soul alliance. Alignment. But I guess it's a soul alliance because that's what just came through. Okay, so we actually have a quietish Astro day today, transit wise. Um, we only have one transit. It is a lazy cat. <laughs> it is not till the evening that it hits. And this will be the moon in Pisces connecting to Uranus. Uranus hanging out in Taurus. So the Pisces Taurus connection, it's just like, ah, oh, I just want to chill out, meditate, connect to the universe, enjoy. So we have that energy coming in for us. But again, that's not till later in the evening. That being said, there's definitely some stuff that we're working. So I mentioned in yesterday's scope that uh, new moon in Aries incoming is again kind of like another like new start, new year energy that we're kicking off. So right now we have dark of the moon in Pisces and this dark of the moon in Pisces may be finishing anything up from this last month, from the last year, from the last millennia, <laughs> from the last thousand lifetimes that you've lived. There's so much depth that can come through in dark of the moon Pisces. And so please recognize as you're moving through things, you may be processing some of that. Now, no accidents, right? At the same time, we're building into a very interesting square. So we're gonna be having Saturn in Aquarius squaring the nodes. This is coming in, I think within this next week. Within the next week, week and a half, we're going to find it reaching its exact point. It's actually going to be me, me meeting, be meeting at 22 degrees. Um, so it's going to be master level energy. So when I was looking at this aspect, one of the things that came to me, uh, it's a quote I share often. I mean me paraphrase it because I can never remember it exactly. But the world will take your hand and try to be like, this is important. This is important. This is important. And this is the time when you take your hand back and you say, no, this is important. And this is what you want to remember. As we have Saturn square the nodes, with the North Node in Taurus, we are all working towards honoring our values, finding pleasure in the world, finding pleasure in living, finding pleasure in the natural, in the earth. Uh, North Node in Taurus, leaning towards abundance, creating building, utilizing our gifts. South Node in Scorpio, which will be part of this, can have us wanting to destroy, can have us resorting to violence, can have us reacting. <laughs> the show is like punching over there. It's like, don't forget that. Uh, <laughs> South Node in Scorpio can have us hiding in fear. And so... We're called to lean into the Taurus energy. Now, it's interesting because Saturn is kind of like the middle ground beforehand between these two. And in this, it can go either way. Saturn can align our responsibility to, to fear. Uh, it can align our responsibility to fighting. It can align our responsibility you know, to, to all these things in Scorpio realm, paranoia, for instance, or we can align our personal responsibility to that which we value, to nature, to the earth, to pleasure, to building. Every action that we make is pushing us one way or the other. And so as this energy is incoming at that 22 degrees, which means it's not an easy lesson. There's a challenge in that lesson. As we are building in that, start noticing in which direction is this taking me. Now, it's really interesting because Aquarius can really affect the vibrations. And you may find the vibrations seem to be pushing you in a direction you may not necessarily want to go. Mahalo just decided to join us. He's like, I choose Taurus. <laughs> <laughs> I choose sunshine. I choose nature. Um, <laughs> but the world, what's happening in the world may be pushing you. And this is why it's very important for you to be very in accordance, very in alignment with yourself. Now, one other interesting connection is coming in with this. We're going to be having Mars joining Saturn. Not quite yet, but right around 
might, maybe a little bit past all this energy. It's going to be joining Saturn. And again, that's going to push our actions. And so having your alignment, knowing what's true for you, knowing your values, choosing life, <laughs> choosing to rise, that is the call in and through this. So just keep that in mind in the background. Um, one last thing about today's energy. I mentioned the lazy cat with the moon and uh, Uranus. That Uranus energy, it really can trigger. So just keep that in mind through the day uh, because it really could trigger old karmic energies that need to be moved through. So like I said, keeping that in mind and keep creation <laughs> keep creative solution as part of it i love the word solution because it's so easy to create it into solution you can solve things through the power of your soul keep that creativity with you integration we are integrating these really old parts of ourselves as well as we are in the dark of the moon again building into this new beginning with new moon in Pisces energy. So what do you need to integrate? What we are integrating is going to be an individual thing. Um, silence, transformation. These are Four of these cards are major arcana cards. Like we are doing big things in and through this energy. Silence and transformation. Success. Silence is the star card. Success. Bright future is coming, but the transformation process is real, is necessary. Keep that in mind in and through this. Keep that in mind, too, that it is not always immediate. We want results. We want to see it now. And the universe works in its own divine timing, and that's part of Pisces lessons, too. Allow the divine timing, but don't give up your hope. Don't give up your vision. <laughs> don't stop. What, that song just popped into my head. Don't stop thinking about tomorrow. <laughs> All right, so that's it for today. You can book a reading with me. Email me, mimiclark at gmail.com. I should mention, I am going to be doing eclipse readings coming in. We have an eclipse at the end of April. Oh my goodness, we're like basically a month out from an eclipse. So eclipse readings coming in, <laughs> um, but you can always book a regular reading as well. Besides that, the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. You have the power and honor your values. <laughs> Namaste.